everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim. I'm so excited. We're going to talk about our conference coming up called Open Heavens North Hollywood. It's the first of its kind in the region of LA, North Hollywood. And today we have our very good friend and guest, Bishop Eddie James. Welcome, man of God. How are you, Ben, ben Lim? Oh, man, I, I'm so blessed. You know, we're so honored to have you. Honestly, I mean, we're going to be having this conference in March 10th to the 14th. So everybody watching now, you need to come to this conference. If you can't be there in person, which you have to be, you can also, of course, register for the private streaming. But we're so honored to have you, Bishop Eddie, come suddenly for this conference. Uh, I am so stoked. I believe this is a God thing. I can't wait to be them. It's going to be an open heaven for sure. Wow. <laughs> oh, so good. You know, uh, of course, we have you, we have Georgian Banov, Jesse Shamp, Jamie Galloway, and so many others. But I really feel like there's something that God wants to release in Los Angeles and Southern California, the home, the seabed of some of the world's greatest revivals. And I know there's something that you're carrying that's going to break through that as well. Well, I want people to come with expectation. You're exactly right. There's a well in Los Angeles that is so powerful and so deep that I believe is is being more and more uncapped. And I believe this conference is so significant to that. And what it's going to do to, to set things in motion that's going to affect the globe is so crucial. I, anybody that's watching this, I don't know what else you could be doing that is more important than being at this conference. It's going to be literally life-changing. I can't wait. Wow, absolutely. Uh, we believe that, man of God. We know in our meetings, I mean, the power of God has been present even more. The miracles, the signs, wonders. I mean, uh, the increase, the provision, the glory realm of God is just breaking open. And I know you've been seeing a lot of that right now uh, with Mo in Mobile, Alabama, in Florida, and uh, just even in Arizona, and just wherever you're going, there's, in a sense, a, a real now breakthrough that's happening in your ministry right now. It's absolutely incredible. You're right. Just uh, we've been partnering with Sean Floyd and even some with Rodney Howard Brown and some others that the Lord is just just releasing his glory all over America. Uh, but what's so awesome about it is that so much of that started out of Los Angeles. So much of what we're we're walking in across across America. The fires of revival that burned at Azusa, that burned in this beautiful city, Los Angeles. I'm telling you, it's it's still shaking the earth today, and we're walking in. I feel like I'm just, uh, I don't know, I, I feel so humbled, you know, to be able to be a part of what God is doing. And so, it's to me, it's, also, it's almost like we're going full circles. Like, God has been doing all this stuff in my in my life, and revival has been breaking out in Mobile, and West Palm Beach, and Prescott, Arizona, and, and all these different places. And now I get to go to Los Angeles, where it all started. You know, I get to go to the place where the well was dug, where people prayed and labored, and literally the entire globe is experiencing Pentecostalism and, and the move of the Holy Spirit today because of what God did there. So we have to be there at this conference. My gosh, uh, Bishop, you know, I, I really feel like there, there's something that God's doing on the earth, and we can't miss it. Unfortunately, so many people are lily-dallying or just doing the kumbaya in church or whatever they're doing in life. But there's a now thing, a kairos movement that God's releasing on the earth. And let me ask you, I mean, how can you discern that this is the right now thing of God? Or how can you discern or even have the audacity to say, we believe that this is the Kairos or the now thing or the fresh thing, the new thing that God's doing? I mean, I mean, how can we discern that properly so that we're not in the old thing, but in the now thing? I believe part of that is how you posture your heart to hear the voice of God and then sensing the the, the the dynamic of what's happening in your ministry. Man, God, I've been a part of some big stuff all across America. I've been a part of the call. I've been a part of stuff in Africa. I've been a part of some big things in America, some of the biggest names, Jake's, Parsley, you name it. I mean, I've had the privilege of sitting under that oil. And all of that's been amazing. All of that's been powerful. Yet you come into something like this that is like, whoa, What's happening, it's, it's, it's fresh, it's new. You sense 
that there is a dimension of glory to this that you hadn't you hadn't tapped into before. I mean, it's it to others it may seem like you know I've seen that expression. Maybe I've we've sang those songs or maybe those are new songs, but sang with the same kind of guitar style or whatever. But you know, if anyone who's paying attention to what God is doing will admit, man, this is a fresh seat. Something's happening. Something is stirring. And it's it's doing things in the earth that is so unique and so powerful that people have to look back and say, this is a new wine. This is a new wine skin. This is a different approach to how God is doing it. And I am all in. And I believe that the, the caution to us is exactly what you said, to not make the new thing that we're deserting look like the old thing that we came out of. That we have to be careful that we don't try to, you know, recreate the journeys of old, but that since it's fresh, since it's new, to stay sensitive. God, this is different. I've never been this way before. I've never done this before. I've never gone down this road before, but my eyes are on you. <laughs> my eyes are on you. And man of God, as long as we can admit, I don't know what I'm doing, so my eyes is on God, we will experience what eye has not seen and ear has not heard. We will walk from glory to glory, from faith to faith. We'll see dimensions of God's glory like we've never seen it before. As long as we stay humble and say, God, I don't know how to do this, but I want it. You know? Oof, my gosh, so good. You know, I, I'm being reminded right now, Bishop, um, you know, every year uh, around this time as we're preparing for Passover, you know, this conference is, March 10th to 14th. So it's literally right around the corner in a few days away, March 10th to 14th. Mm. Open North Hollywood, register now at benlamglobal.com. But literally right around this time every year, where as we're about to enter the Passover Easter, there's a real acceleration and a movement of things. I remember watching you and listening and worshiping the Lord, excuse me, at Azusa Now in LA. This was about, I don't know, four years ago, five years ago now. And this, you know, I mean, the power that your team ministry brought in that session, it was just remarkable, phenomenal. But now I feel like we are in a full circle season in LA, even from what was released at Azusa now. And of course, we see The Send, which you've been a part of. And we see, you know, David Herzog, he did The Awakening in Arizona. Yeah. And literally, that was the last. Christian stadium event that we've actually had in the United before States. the pandemic, yeah, exactly. Who would have yeah. known? You were part of that too, but yeah. I mean, being a part of those stadium gatherings to now, well, I mean, how important do you think it is in the timeline of God that we're in with all those stadium outpouring revival meetings to today, even to what God's doing in LA with even with this conference? Luingo once prophesied that. The coming revival would be what he would call stadium Christianity revivals in that the harvest is going to be so crazy, so big, that there won't be church buildings big enough to hold what God is doing. One, that God is going to bypass a lot of our local churches because what he wants to do is bigger than just a local church. And so these buildings that are being stewarded by people of sports are really built as barns for harvest, uh -huh. heavenly barns for harvest. So I believe that the days are gonna come where, like he said, look, I'll never forget when Luke said this, they're gonna just bust open in these big stadiums and say, we need a spot to come worship. And it's gonna be so powerful that government can't stop it yeah. because they're seeing the results of how it's impacting the globe. And so I, you know, I, you know, I'm sensing this and I, I don't know, and I, and I give this to you, for you to test, but I, I, I've never even thought to, to do this or asked about this before. But I sense when we come to the uh, conference in, in, um, in Hollywood, when we do this thing in Los Angeles, but I feel like there's a, I feel like I'm supposed to pray for worship leaders, mm. uh, that they would be, they would be, they would rise up in this hour and release worship outside the church walls. I feel like what I'm walking in, what Sean Ford is walking in, that there are hundreds that God wants to release Hundreds that God wants to raise up. Hundred. Oh, I feel the glory of the Lord talking about this. I just, I just believe that there are those who are going to be attending in that moment that your heart's been beating for this. You've been crying for this. That you knew that God's called you to worship, but it's not just too fast, too slow. 
and you know just doing it you know as a precursor to whatever is happening in an hour and 10 minute program but you're called to be a voice of awakening a voice of revival a worship leader with a breaker anointing that brings the glory of god to people where signs and wonders follow your worship and people are getting killed and delivered and set free that you stand with your guitar and you just lift up a sound and people drop their needles, people drop their cigarettes, people drop their alcohol, people drop their gang signs and, and gang flags and all the stuff. That, and God uses you just as a worshiper to release his glory. And, and that's what's happening right now in America. That's what's happening. And I'm walking in that. And, and I've never thought until this moment to pass this to a generation of worshipers, but I sense I'm to do that when we come together uh, for the conference. Well, it's our honor, sir. I mean, I wish I was a worship leader so I could be in that line. Of, <laughs> I could have, you know, but did you hear that? Bishop Eddie Davis, there's something fresh. He's going to pray for worship leaders in the L.A., California, Southern California region, surrounding areas. So you need to come because there's something powerful that's going to be released, as we know. In the partition. Yeah, come on. As, as worship goes up, then the miracles begin to rise. So God's doing some. So powerful right now. My gosh, you know, um, I, I'm just reminded, sir, I mean, I'm, I'm a st student of revival. Okay? Yeah. I'm revival, love moves of God. I'm a student of revival. And, of course, it seems like, again, 20 years ago, we saw the House of Prayer movement really burst forth. And, you know, maybe about 10 years ago, you know, maybe not that long, we've been seeing uh, tents of David, David tents, worship prayer movement manifest. And now we're seeing, of course, the crusade, the outdoor tent revivals, the signs, wonders, and miracles, the evangelists, the send, the send, the go, the go. So we're seeing this transition even in the last 20, 30 years. But it's really about creating portals of God, open heavens, <clears throat> yes. cities, and over regions for God's presence to come and transform people and nations. How important do you think it is in this season that we're creating these open heavens, not closed heavens or closed churches, but we're creating open heavens, not closed heavens, but open heaven moments wherever we go. I want to, you know, I'm so glad you, you, you've you gone to this point. I want to honor Mike Bickle and honor the House of Prayer movement and everybody who began to take that vision and that heart and to begin to establish 24-7 day and night, night and day prayer and worship across America. I can't tell you as I sit back now and look at what what, the, what God is doing in the hand of God now, I can't tell you how significant their role has been. They have helped to break open the heavens for this moment. Uh, when many of the body of Christ would be sleeping, people all over America had somebody calling on the name of the Lord, has somebody releasing worship into the heavenlies. And as one that has been with uh uh, International House of Prayer in Kansas City and spent at least a year of my life with Mike Bickle and um, and uh, Misty Edwards and, and all of those great people that I'm telling you, I know for a fact that they're serious about being a place that opens up, like you said, a portal, establishes a place where the heavens are open and people are encountering the move of the Holy Spirit. And, and you know, I, I've seen it even model where God began to breathe on that, and they had this extended time of powerful meetings and signs and wonders and people getting blasted in the presence of the Lord. And just revival breaking out at the house of prayer. And it's, it's, it's so amazing to me to see the, the evangelistic movement, the prayer movement, the worship movement. It's like that threefold core that's not easily mm -hmm. broken. It's coming together. And I believe that this hour that we are starting to step into I believe all the things that I've been able to touch with, with Lou, with with um, Mike Bickle, with Rodney Howard Brown, with all of these individuals, is like God has been preparing us for this moment. It's like all of that was leading to this hour. And I, I just, you should pinch yourself, say, I'm it's, I'm blessed to be alive right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that God would call me to be on the planet for this moment in history, it's the greatest moment ever. It's amazing. Come on, so good. You know, <laughs> I've been saying this, man of God, that God has prepared you all, your whole life for this year. Yep. God has tested you in 2020 for 2021. So this, I believe, is the year of all years. This is your season. This is our moment. This is the greatest hour for the church. 
Yes. And we're going to back down, but there is a mighty bold roar as being released. So we want to invite you people of God. You heard it from Bishop Eddie James himself. He's going <laughs> to be there. I mean, there's we got prophets there. We have Georgian Banov, the apostle of joy. We have Eddie James and myself. There's going to be a Holy Ghost combustion in Hollywood, North Hollywood. Ooh. I'm as dead. And of course, it's going to accelerate us to Passover and uh, to the Easter season. So we want to welcome you. Register right now at BenlamGlobal.com. Register right now, BenlamGlobal.com. We even have a leader's luncheon. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be life-changing. I guarantee you. Now, Bishop Eddie, as we we're about to close, any last words, uh, you know, as we're uh, inviting our friends to come to this conference? Don't miss it. Cancel what you need to cancel. Adjust what you need to adjust. Just don't miss this moment. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we may even go into some extended meetings after this. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. listen, I'll fly back for that. Don't mess with me. All, all right. About revival hey. right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You, you know, I'm all in for a revival, extended meetings. I love that's my language. Well, Bishop, Eddie, we love you. Why don't you just say a prayer for the people as we're about to close this broadcast? God, I thank you, Lord, for this conference that you have God, that you have ordained, that you've established for this moment. I thank you for everyone listening. God, I pray, God, for every heart to be touched, to be uh, stirred, to be at this conference. Lord, that they would come ready to be, uh, to receive, to have, the, have an impartation by the Holy Spirit released to them. God, you're raising up something so powerful in the earth, God, that it's hard to put language to. It's so big. It's so beyond what we ever could dream or imagine. Thank you, God, for this hour. Thank you for being and for those who would step out of faith to host this. Use this conference, God, to bring your glory to a new dimension in the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Amen and amen. You cannot miss this moment, people of God. This is our moment. Come to the Open Heavens North Hollywood Conference in LA, North Hollywood. Register at BenlandGlobal.com. We can't wait to see you. Yes, sir.